Good morning and welcome to this week in Cincinnati. I'm Craig McKee. First this morning, Hamilton County faces a $28 million budget hole next year, so it wants to raise the sales tax as a result. The county commission voted Monday to increase that tax by 0.2%. The county's current sales tax is 7%, so the new rate would be 7.2% starting in October. With us now to talk a little bit more about some of the numbers and why the county faces such a budget squeeze is Commission President Todd Portune. Thank you so much for joining us. Craig, thank you very much for having me today. So uh, here we are. It's a pretty big hole uh, you're looking at. Why is this the route you need to take? Well, first of all, we chose not to pass the buck on this. At some point, uh, you have to step up and do what needs to be done. And Hamilton County is at a point where the long-term structural deficit that we're looking at in our budget, meaning the revenues that are coming in are not going to be equal to uh, or greater than our expenses moving forward. Um, and there was no other stone to be unturned in terms of new sources of revenue or cuts that could occur. Let me just share something with you that, that many of your viewers may not be aware of. We are spending less today to run county government on than we spent in the year 2000. We're taking in less money today than we had to run the government in the year 2000. We have cut overall county staff by approximately 25% over the years. We have reduced services. We've, we've eliminated operations. We've consolidated, downsized, shared serviced, um, coordinated effort, uh, and so on and so on. But we've gotten to a point where there's nothing less of that to do, no more one-time revenue we can rely upon. Mm -hmm. um, we're facing a difficult situation, and a lot of it has to do with issues that were uh, decided by state government just in the past uh, two years that have reduced county revenues significantly. Our local government fund support from the state is down $12 million. Mm -hmm. Earnings that we get on um, uh, investments at the county, people say, well, why, why aren't you participating in this boom market, this boom economy? Right. It's because treasurers at counties aren't allowed to invest in the kinds of things where the boom is. We've lost $23 million annually on what our investment earnings are. Uh, and just recently, another $6 million lost in the sales tax uh, to our general fund because of decisions made by the state. So all of those have combined to the fact where we're facing this long-term structural deficit where there was no other answer other than to cut county operations across the board by 17 percent right. uh, or strategically eliminate items that that were truly going to hurt and in many of them were mandated to do we can't we, we are not as a matter of law allowed to cut services when in, in you areas. mentioned taxes and raising taxes yeah. um, we have a, a hotline here called the feedback friday hotline and anytime that word comes up we get sure. a lot of calls uh, a lot of calls actually from property owners and business owners who say, mm -hmm. you know, we're tired of, of lifting the, the weight for everyone. That's right. why this is focused more on a sales tax. So therefore, anybody outside of Hamilton County coming in, they're going to be helping to, to pick the weight. Well, that's absolutely correct. We, ch we, we specifically chose this vehicle because of the tax fatigue that exists with property owners. Some of the other options that we had were to eliminate the property tax rollback. We didn't want to do that because mm -hmm. that helps to benefit property owners. Uh, to increase the transfer tax on, on real estate transactions. Didn't want to do that because that hurts the economy. It, it hurts property owners uh, as well. Um, or to ask the townships to pay more for the cost of 911 dispatch services. Right. That wouldn't help. That would, would cause the township budgets to go into a, a catastrophic shortfall. And they would have to consider raising property taxes. Um, just over the past five years, Craig, there have been 47 police and fire and general service property tax levies put on by the municipalities and the townships in Hamilton County. So there's fatigue because that of comes along issues. with that. Yeah. A lot of fatigue. So we chose the sales tax for, for that reason alone. It will help the townships. It eliminates uh, or at least helps to assuage some of the property tax fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, and 40% and of the revenues generated by this will be paid for by non Hamilton County uh, right. residents, so it, it provides that measure of relief to the uh, the county as well. And in 18 months, people's overall sales tax uh, burden will actually be less than it is today. This is the the increase that people will feel is only going to be for 18 months. 
Well, th there could be a lot of fatigue come, you know, election day because of the number of levies that could be on there. As you know, there's a petition drive starting actually right now. Yes. Um, to put the sales tax increase on the ballot. Its organizers actually say that they want the voters, uh, the taxpayers, to be able to choose. Its organizers wanting to get this on the ballot to say, hey, you know what, uh, if you want this, you can vote for it. This is actually some of what they had to say uh, just the other day. Take a listen. There's a definite feeling of tax fatigue that's across Hamilton County. And all you have to look at is today's announcement by City Hall in regards to Councilmember Mann and Councilmember Sittenfeld about raising the tax on the emissions for events in the city of Cincinnati. So that's just one that's going to be on the ballot this fall. You throw in the potential bus one that might be there, as well as looking at a children's services property tax increase. You could have at least four different tax uh, initiatives on the ballot this fall. Now, that was your fellow commissioner, of course, Chris sure. Monzel. Uh, quick note, we actually are going to speak to the chairman of SORTA in just a little bit about their shortfall and what they plan to do. But what do you say to people who feel like they're just paying too much in, in taxes? Sure. There's a lot of fatigue uh, that is out there. Um, most measures go to the ballot, uh, and, and the voters are given a, a choice on that. Um, one of the things that, that hurts Hamilton County in this issue is that, is that um, our tax authority with the sales tax, the majority of it was voted in by voters for things that are not uh, essential operations of the county. In fact, we, we received to run the government um, by a factor of 100% less than any other county in our region or a comparable peer county in terms of, of the percentage of sales taxes that go to run the government. So we've been as efficient as we can be in doing this. But the, the other things like um, the zoo levy, for example, that was, was uh, just recently on, those should be on the ballot. Voters should have a chance to vote those uh, items up or down. Um, unfortunately, what we're faced with here is different from those, those other items. This yeah. is about, uh, at its core, what we are obligated to do and obligated to provide as county commissioners, which is to provide the revenues to run the government on. Commissioner Monzel had every opportunity to offer suggestions where to cut. He did not. Mm -hmm. To offer other alternatives. He did not. Right. Um, uh, he has discussed openly, well, you can always find somewhere else to cut or this or that, but he never raised any other option to us. There was no other option here. All right. Well, uh, uh, Commission President Todd Portoon, thank you so much for your time. Of course, we'll sure. see and continue to follow the story and find out if it ends up on the ballot yep. or, or what happens. Craig, thank you very much, and, and thank you for helping to educate the public a little more of what this is all about. All right.